Listen to the podcast. Just search for Fox 2 St. Louis headlines. A judge in Jefferson City will decide later this week if Medicaid should be expanded come July 1st. Our Missouri Chief Capital Bureau reporter Emily Manley was in the courtroom today as the ruling could affect 275,000 Missourians, Emily. Well, that's just right, Mandy. And three single women are suing the state of Missouri after lawmakers voted not to fund Medicaid expansion. And without the money, Governor Mike Parson said that the, the state cannot move forward with expansion. The lawsuit was heard in front of a judge for the first time today, and he will decide if Missouri will have to cover those making less than $18,000 a year. But they are arguing that if these bills didn't fund expansion, that is unconstitutional. Voters approved to expand Medicaid last August. The Constitution guarantees them uh, the right to receive Medicaid, and there is money that's been appropriated uh, to pay for Medicaid services. And the governor requested lawmakers to fund it back in January, but the General Assembly decided not to pay for it. The big picture is the legislature used the very virtually the same language to appropriate money for Medicaid services in 2019 and in 2020 as it did in 2021. The lawsuit was in front of a judge for the first time Monday. Three low-income women are suing the state, but the outcome affects thousands. One of our clients has diabetes, we have skin conditions, a variety of, of health needs that are just not getting met that will be worsened, you know, without health coverage. The state says since legislators voted not to spend 130 million state dollars on expansion, it doesn't go into effect July 1st. You just got to go burrow through these texts through the lens of an informed observer who understands Medicaid law, and it's perfectly clear that what's going on here is appropriation just for pre-expansion population, not the expansion population. But the other side says under the Constitution, Medicaid will expand since the state funded the overall program. There is no such thing as an expansion population or a pre-existing population. There's just Medicaid coverage, and our plaintiffs are in that group. Now, the judge says he expects to make a ruling on Wednesday, but no matter what the decision is, both sides say that they are prepared to file an appeal. Reporting live tonight from Missouri State Capitol Bureau in Jefferson City, I'm Emily Manley, Fox 2 News.